Gemini, welcome to Epiphany Tarot. What is up, y'all? Gemini, what is good? What's good? Um, again, welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you discover my channel um, from the get on none, welcome convent members. I am excited to have you here. Um, like I said, my readings are always vice versa and they're always timeless. So I could be talking about you or I could be talking about the person that you're dealing with. However, we are going to have a good time. I hope that you find something here that resonates with you. And Gemini, we're going to tap in, okay? Gemini. When I was shuffling your cards, I heard sirens outside. And so I tried to ignore them the first time, but I can hear them again now. And they're not really that close. Like the sirens are at a distance, so y'all probably can't hear them, but I can hear them. 111 on the timer. I don't know what's going on, uh, Gemini, but the first card out I got for you from the Dark Mirror Oracle is... Revenge number 23 that breaks down to a five. Um, and she has two swords in her hand, so this is giving me um air sign energy. So, Gemini, this could be you, or you, or you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, with this number 23, I feel like Gemini, you can be experiencing a lot of change right now. I feel like, Gemini, you have a lot of anger built up because with this card, she got the two swords at her sides. But at the, in the traditional tarot deck, like the Rider weight, the two of swords is usually crossed up like this to where somebody is like in denial or acting like they're not seeing something or feeling something. The two swords is at her side. So somebody here, they can't hide their anger anymore. Somebody here is like feeling vengeful or wanting revenge. This is like hostile type of energy. I also heard um, when I was meditating on your energy, Gemini, I heard um, projection. And that's what this card talks about too. This card talks about projecting your anger out on other people. Um so Gemini, be mindful of that, or this somebody could be doing this to you. But I feel like somebody here has some pent up energy that is now surfacing, and it's like coming out in like weird ways. I feel like this person may be getting into it with people. Hopefully, this is not. This doesn't have anything to do with like self harm because I was hearing the sirens out, the sirens outside. But I feel like somebody is really upset here, Gemini. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gemini. And for some of you Geminis, some of you this could be same sex. So just keep that in mind. All my LGBTQ family, you guys are welcome here too. That's not gonna be for everybody, so place yourself where you need to be. Okay. But yeah, yeah. I definitely see um the the um studs and the stems and the you know however you identify yourself but i definitely see a gay woman energy out here so i don't know if this woman is like bisexual or if she's gay or what but i definitely see like a stud or a stem type of energy here anyway we got obsession here must have indulgence gemini i told who was i talking to earlier about this aries lay off of the sweet gemini if you could take a break or cut back or just cut it out for like a week or so please do that because some of you some of you gemini's have an obsession with sweets um pies cakes donuts um stuff like that cut it out gemini or take a break something um but we have obsession out here then we have love adore admire enchantment and we have love affair dirty little secret down low so i ain't gonna lie to you the energy that i'm picking up on somebody could be i think somebody that fell in love with they sneaky thing gemini is what i'm feeling 
Like, I feel like some of you Geminis, either you're in a relationship or the person that you're dealing with is in a relationship. And somebody has been, like, sneaking around having a down-low relationship behind the scenes. And they're in love with the side, the side man or the side female. Or if this is the same sex situation, same scenario, the sneaky link is like a same sex, like love affair, dirty little secret down low. It's like somebody has an obsession with their sneaky link, but they can't be with this person because either they're in a relationship or a commitment with somebody else or Gemini, this is you. You're in a relationship, in a marriage, in a connection, and you've been having an affair now, for some of you, it is like same sex. The affair is some of you is not, but either way, it's like a dirty little secret. It's like somebody that fell in love with a sneaky link or they side piece because they're obsessed. It says must have indulgence. Like I feel like the sex is amazing with this person, but it's turning into more than that. But somebody here is like stuck in a situation that they can't get out of, so they can't even be with you, Gemini, or you can't be with this person. But it says revenge out here too, which is your overall oracle card. So I don't know, somebody got led on here. Cause it's one thing to be obsessed with somebody, but it's another thing to want revenge on that person too. So if somebody is seeking revenge, they had to have been sold some sort of dream, some sort of promise, some sort of giving some sort of hope that they were going to end up in a relationship with somebody. But I feel like this situation has turned into an obsession. Oh, yeah. You hear this, uh, the horn? <laughs> Confirmation. Somebody in love with they sneaky link, Gemini. What's going on here? And we got Sade. So this is the stud stem energy I was picking up on. It's a woman out here. When I get this card, Sade, and I love me some Sade. I do. Who I love her. But anyway, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn because she's a Capricorn, Miss Helen. Okay. But it says the lead, no ordinary love. It's king, pride. Yeah, pride, taboo. It's something about this situation. It's taboo. I'm also hearing, especially for you Gemini females, I feel like a lot of you Gemini females, either you're in a relationship in a man with a man and you're in love with like a sneaky link feminine energy on the side or Gemini, you're this um, um, androgynous feminine energy and you're in love with somebody that can't be with you because they're in a heterosexual relationship. Like, this is like a feminine energy that I'm picking up on. I don't really see masculine energy out here for Geminis. I mean, it could be. You know, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's like a gay man. I mean, sometimes they can come up in feminine energy. Like I said, taken as it resonates. But I really, this is giving like stud stem. Like, this is a very pretty, attractive woman who dresses like um, kind of like a tomboy. You know, baggy clothes um dark or neutral colors she probably could love denim um she has very pretty skin probably doesn't wear a lot of makeup little to none um she can have a tattoo on her arm on her wrist like look at that i hope they ain't talking about me they ain't talking about me because i'm <laughs> i i don't um <laughs> i don't i don't date any gemini and i'm not even dating nobody right now but anyway but yeah, this woman, like, she may have some sort of creative talent or something that she does. Um, for some of you, she could sing, obviously, because it's Sade. Um, others of you, you may just do something creative, like you could paint, you could write. It's some creative talent that this person has, and I feel like it's just an androgynous female. Like, she dresses very masculine, but she's very, very pretty, and she's something about this woman's skin. She has really nice skin. But it's something taboo. It's like somebody's having an affair with this woman and they didn't fell in love. It's like an obsession now. But they either the person that's in love or obsessed with this person is like in a relationship or they haven't came out the closet yet. But it's like love affair out here. 
So it's like some sneaky linking, some cheating, and some shit going on here, Gemini. I don't know. And then we got Steel Magnolias. It says blush and bashful motherhood. Just like family, cherish sad times. Have, yeah, I feel like this woman is like, she may be like the black sheep of her family. Like she stands out. It's something about her that's different from like other women. Um... Then we got Breakfast Club. <clears throat> Breakfast Club. It says Detention Athlete, Criminal Princess, Brain, What's a Friend, Anyway, Kids, Teens, Basket Case. So if you are dating Gemini, be mindful of the people that you're meeting. Um, because it does say basket case on this Breakfast Club card. So some I mean, somebody here may not got them all if you are dating. Hopefully, this isn't the person you've been sneaking linking, sneaky linking with, or this isn't the person that has like some sort of weird obsession with you. Because like somebody don't got them all, but they're trying to blend in with other people or their family or this friend group and trying to act like they're okay, but they're really like obsessed with like with this gay lesbian energy. But it's like for some reason they can't really be with this person, or they're not like out in the open with this connection. But I feel like this person is in love and obsessed with you, Gemini, or you're in love and obsessed with somebody. Or there's somebody in like this friend group or this social circle that's in love and obsessed with your person, Gemini, if you're in a relationship. But I feel like somebody here is realizing that they're either not going to get to be with this person or like something is not like whatever they wanted out of this situation is not going to happen. So now they want revenge. All right, Gemini. Let's see. Gemini. Show me what's going on, Gemini. Same pathway when I tried to come out. So yeah, like somebody literally wants to go down a new path. They want to try something different, especially in regards to their sexuality. Like they could really want to try being in a relationship with a woman. Like I don't know, Jim. Did y'all turn somebody out? Like the Because Gemini's usually, I mean, Gemini's y'all be fine as fuck. Okay. And y'all be fly as fuck too. Gemini's will really put that shit on. Matter of fact, really air signs in general, they usually have nice style. They know how to dress. Gemini leave as Aquarius. They definitely know how to put their shit together. Yeah, they playing Sade. Love is stronger than pride. Gemini, we got false person. Yeah, Gemini, I said be careful because somebody here, I feel like, is getting led on. They're getting led to believe that they're going to have some type of love, I mean, love connection with somebody. But I feel like whoever this woman is, she's sneaky. Like, she's not out in the open. She's connected to a man still. Some masculine energy back there. Like, this woman is still connected to a man in some sort of way. Because she got the fan covering her her face. Like, she doesn't want her identity to be known. It's like she's trying to conceal her identity, her sexual identity. So, like, I don't know who the fuck this is, Gemini. Like, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, and then this man in the background, he's wearing a mask, too. I don't know if you can see that, but he's wearing a mask, Gemini. So whoever this woman is that's in this relationship with this man, I feel like he's fake as fuck is and inauthentic as well. He probably be cheating and doing his own thing, too, Gemini. But it's like these two people are still together. This is probably like a toxic like type of I can tell relationship that this woman is involved in. But somebody out here is like sneaky linking with somebody else, especially the feminine energy in this relationship. 
she's trying to sneaky link with this gay woman or this gay man and these two one of these two then fell in love i don't know which one it is this this Sade, whoever this is representing seems more like a high vibing type of person whoever this is seems like a karmic because she's stuck in this relationship with this toxic ass man so like these two are in love with each other it's like a secret obsession here a dirty little secret love affair down low but somebody here is not trying to come out in the open about this shit and somebody here is gonna want revenge for being sold a dream or having their time wasted or i don't know gemini or gemini this could be somebody in your family because <sighs> still magnolia's here i feel like either this is you gemini or this is someone in your family this could be happening to I feel like you have a matriarch, a matriarch, um, a matriarchy in your family. Like you have a lot of women in your family, 16, 16 on the timer. And I feel like whoever this is, whoever Sade is, like I said, she's like the black, she's like the black sheep of this matriarchal family unit. And she's could end up being in or sneaking around with somebody that's supposed to be in a relationship with a man. And I feel like they're trying to hide that because this person's family doesn't need to find out or but like maybe this woman is somehow linked to this steel magnolias in some sort of way. Like, I don't know. Or somebody's jealous because this person lives in their authenticity, lives in their truth. Mm -hmm. It's giving like weird family vibes to Gemini. Like somebody here doesn't approve of this person's lifestyle. Low key. Pathway. I'm telling you, it's like somebody here that's stuck in a toxic relationship with some man, but they want to go in a new direction. Yeah, they didn't fell in love with the same sex. It's just like, but they don't want this man to find out or they don't want this family to find out, this group of women. I feel like this is a group of older women, the way that they're dressed. It's like a group of older women that don't understand, like, you know, the LGBT movement or people that live their lifestyle like that. But somebody here wants to go a different pathway. Like they didn't fell in love with a woman, but this woman is like attached to a man or this woman in a relationship that fell in love with this woman who lives like in her authenticity or lives in her truth. But she's scared to go down that path because of what her family is going to think. But then it's like, she's obsessed here. It's like she doesn't want this person to have, be with anybody else or this person doesn't want you to be with anybody else, Gemini, but. courthouse i feel like this woman may have to get a divorce from somebody yeah this woman courthouse so some of y'all are dealing with a libra libra been popping up in everybody readings dog like i don't know what the fuck going on but yeah libra libra who else um, Libra, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's all I see out here right now, Gemini. We're going to pull some. Look at that. 
as soon as I open the deck, Venus and Air. So definitely some air sign or air sign couples. Venus is Libra. Then we just got air, period. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, let's see. Well, zodiac signs are significant for you. I want to say Leo, too, because we got prize right here on this card. And then, um, you know, LGBTQ, the, the LGBTQ pride movement. Yeah. So somebody, some, so Leo could be significant. It's like somebody wants to go down this new path and get out of this toxic relationship. But I feel like it's going to cause a lot of commotion because they got a matriarch of, of women here that probably don't agree with this woman's lifestyle. And then also this woman may need to get a divorce courthouse from somebody in order to be in this like same sex relationship. Yeah, I don't, they keep playing all Sade music. I keep hearing, I won't pretend, pretend, pretend to stop living. It's something going on. Somebody listening to Sade. <laughs> yeah, Sade, the sweetest taboo. There's something taboo about this situation, man. Like, I don't know if whoever, like, whoever this um, gay woman is in this relationship, I feel like they may know whoever that she's involved with. They may, her family may know this lover. You know what I mean? Like, if this woman is messing around with this woman who's still in this relationship with this man, I still feel like this woman is like, it's like they family know each other or something like that. It's like, like this woman knows this person, person's family or something. So that's why she can't leave this relationship to be in this relation, same sex relationship because it's like too much family involved or too much people involved or something. It's like a, it's something weird here. Like I'm trying to connect the dots. Uh, Gemini, bear with me, okay. Like, I don't know. I guess this woman's family is like, is like traditional. These matriarch, matriarchal women are expecting this woman to end up with a man, but she might end up with a woman. This woman is in a relationship with somebody, though. Yeah, I don't know. Then we had Uranus come out. So there could be some type of plot twist to this situation. But Uranus, this is Aquarius energy. So some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. And they reading was hella wild. So, Gemini, go watch Aquarius reading if you got time. Yeah, Saturn here. So, there's that Capricorn. Somebody here could be going through their, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, a Capricorn could be going through their Saturn return. Or this Aquarius could be. Yeah, Scorpio. Yeah, tower, Pluto. So, yeah, it definitely could be a tower moment regarding this situation. Yeah, because somebody here with this revenge card, they can't, their anger is building up. They can't hide these feelings anymore. Because I feel like whoever Shaw Day is in this scenario, if, if this woman doesn't want to leave this man to be with her, 
then I feel like she's just going to leave it alone and move on. And this other woman is not having it because she's obsessed with this uh, love affair, this dirty little secret. Like, she's really obsessed and in love with this um Sade energy this woman who's like who lives her life authentically like she's openly gay this woman is going to be mad if this this other woman tries to move on but it's like she's locked in some sort of contract or she's locked in this toxic relationship with this man then her family is going to judge her and shit it's like a lot at stake for this woman to leave this relationship and go be with this woman pisces and somebody could be dealing with a pisces um then we got neptune double pisces out here so definitely a pisces could be significant for somebody and, all right gemini Yeah, I just got real hot all of a sudden. So, yes, yeah, somebody is upset. Somebody is upset and hot under the collar, Gemini. I don't know why. And, Gemini, this is a new deck that I'm trying on you. Yeah, so, Gemini, it's just like all new shit. Real shit. It's like, Gemini, you're ready for some new shit. I feel like if you're this Sade energy, you're living in your authenticity, you're living in your truth, you might be doing your own thing creatively, painting, writing, singing, traveling, dancing, whatever it is that you do, just living your life. You know what I'm saying? Except for this situation, it's like, yeah, you may have a connection with this woman, but you also know the situation that she or he is attached to. So I just feel like, Gemini, you're just like a free bird, like whatever, you know. And this woman, whoever you was having this sneaky link with or this affair or this love connection has turned into an obsession for this other person. Like this person is getting upset because you're free, you're moving around, you're doing what you want to do, you're connecting with other people. It's like really pissing this woman off. Because she can't leave a situation or she's stuck somewhere or She's worried about what family going to think or what this man going to think. Like, it's something up. These cards held a slippery. I'm also hearing like Gemini, wherever you, wherever you're at or wherever you live at, like whatever city you're in, I feel like the LGBTQ community is small. I feel like everybody know each other. I don't know why I'm getting it. Yeah, five of cups, somebody's heartbroken. It could be this Pisces, this water energy cancer. It could be a Scorpio or a Pisces, but Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, Five of Cups. Somebody's like sad in their feelings, just getting drunk, feeling guilty, crying over spilled milk. Like, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this person. They're like sitting somewhere just getting drunk as fuck all in their feelings. Yeah, Will of Fortune popped out. So it's been a shift in the energy. 
something was fated to occur this way or fated to happen with the Wheel of Fortune trying to flip over. All right. Gemini. These cards is just like slippery as fuck, bro. Seven of Cups reverse. I'm telling you, it's a Pisces significant to this situation, Gemini. Seven of Cups reverse. So, Seven of Cups is... The Seven of Cups reverse is when the rose-colored glasses come off. Like, so Gemini, you may have been dealing with somebody, whoever this woman is, this same-sex relationship, whoever these two women is, somebody here... I don't know. I feel like if you were dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces may be one of these same sex females. And this Pisces may have been trying to create some sort of illusion. Um, Gemini. But I feel like that illusion has been like like shattered. Like, like the smoke and mirrors has been cleared. Somebody is seeing something clearly or they're seeing this Pisces clearly. Like, Gemini, if you've been sneaky linking with this Pisces, this Pisces may be still connected to some man or some sort of relationship. Somebody's bubble is bursting here. The, the, ro the rose-colored glasses have came off. Reality has set in. Somebody's realizing that, okay, I'm never going to really get to be with this person or this situation is not really going to go anywhere because this woman is stuck in this relationship with this man. You know what I'm saying? So, Gemini, you could just be like, what the fuck? You know, you're just moving on with your life, being free, doing you, doing your creative shit, um, traveling, because the Three of Wands is here. You could be going out of town or on vacation or taking a trip or something, minding your fucking business. And whoever this is you were sneaky linking with who's stuck with this man is losing their shit. It's like anger. They're mad because you minded your business, Gemini, and don't give a damn. And they got anger built up towards this man. Because like I said, that man in that car, in this car, is wearing a mask. So he's not, he's probably somewhere doing whatever the fuck he want to do in this relationship too. And like whoever this is, is just upset now. It's like she want revenge on everybody because motherfuckers is leaving her alone. Like, you don't want this motherfucker Gemini because she's too scared to live in her truth or live in her authenticity or she won't leave this relationship. And then this man, he's somewhere doing his own thing too and she just feel like motherfuckers is doing her wrong. Yeah, seven of cups reverse because that sounds like some Pisces shit for real. Like, you know, Pisces, they like to live in this dream world, but somebody comes along trying to Burst state bubble or kill they fantasy three thirty three on the timer. They get angry. They get upset. <laughs> so yeah, it's somebody out here that wants revenge. Then we got the seven of wands here. So yeah, somebody got blocked. Especially if it was a fire sign, somebody created some sort of boundaries with this person because it's just like nah, you want some goofy shit. You want some weird shit. You want some, I don't know, type of shit. Yeah, somebody, seven of wands blocked somebody and three of wands just went on about their business. Turned they back. Started looking towards the future. Waiting on some new ships, some new shit to come in. Yeah, Gemini, if you order some shit online, you could be waiting on your shit to come in or you're waiting on a shipment. If you have some sort of like clothing business or something. Yeah, Three of Swords. It's definitely a third party out here. We got the Three of Wands and the Three of Swords. Somebody here got heartbroken because somebody here put up boundaries, put up boundaries and created distance. Somebody here got heartbroken, Three of Swords. Something here was a big-ass lie. Somebody here was made out to believe that they were going to fall in love or they were going to be together with this sneaky link or whatever. But when they realized that this person was like stuck in some sort of marriage or stuck in sort of some sort of contract in a relationship or some shit, they like, ah, oh, okay, cool, I'm good, I'm out. Seven of wands, three, three of wands, especially if it's a fire sign. Yeah, 
Yeah, Ace of Wands reversed on the bottom of the deck. Somebody got turned off. They got uninterested. Like real shit. This is a weird ass reading because for some reason, like I'm still trying to connect the dots, Gemini. Like these people know each other in some sort of way. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't know if this is like a seven of cups. When it's in the upright, they could be like online dating and shit. So with the seven of cups reverse, like this could have been something that happened online or is happening online. It's like this person, like whoever blocked somebody and put up boundaries and created distance with the three of wands, they could still be spying or lurking on the person that blocked them and see this person flirting with other people or see this person flirting with you, Gemini. Now this person got a problem with everybody, but it's like, I don't know, there's something weird about this person. Like, either they're still in a relationship with somebody or they connected to some man or, I don't know. It's like, they're trying to keep this shit a secret for whatever fucking reason. But at the same time, if you block this person and created some sort of boundaries, it's like this person is still watching online. It's like their fantasy has been interrupted. And now they're seeing this person online flirt with other people, act like the love affair or the sneaky link never fucking existed. And it's like pissing them off. This person is getting angry. What kind of reading is this, Gemini? Oof. I don't know who this is going to resonate for because this seems sort of specific. I have the Seven of Wands here. Yeah, somebody could be getting attacked online too for some reason. But I feel like it's whoever this woman is out here that's wanting revenge. Like she be she may be trying to attack this person online with the seven of wands here. That's why this person is like setting boundaries and shit, or they block this person. But with the seven of wands, I mean this person is protect spiritually protected anyway. So it's like this person is just mad, especially if it's a Pisces, an Aquarius, or a Scorpio. Yeah. And it's a gnat. It's a gnat flying around. I ain't seen a gnat in my house all day until just now. So, yes, somebody is spying on you, Gemini, or they're lurking on this situation like real shit. Because where did that gnat just come from? Like, it's somebody that's annoying. They're irritated. And they're spying and they're watching. And whatever they're seeing is making them mad. That's the seven of wands here. They're mad because they figured out that this person wasn't serious. Like I said, whoever was in this same-sex affair, they realized that, okay, I'm never going to be with this person. Or they figured out that, oh, this person is still linked to a man. Or they're still in some sort of contract, some sort of toxic contract with somebody else. Like, it's like whoever this person is who's comfortable with their sexuality and shit, they realize that, oh, like, this ain't that serious because this person's still with such and such or they're still married to such and such. So they just, like, fuck it and moved on. And now this person is upset. This person's trying to attack them online. This person is spying, watching, and lurking. It's just like they're being really weird. It's like this person is obsessed. And it's just like... How could you be obsessed? Like, like you're you have a whole nother situation going on and you worried about what the fuck I'm doing? Like, we not even together. Like, what, what you tripping off of? Like, this person is so mad. Seven of Cups reverse with the revenge card and obsession. Ooh, this is this reading is not giving me the best vibes. Like 
like I really feel like somebody here is upset because they got blocked or because they got cut off or because they got exposed tower card for still being connected to this man or still locked in some sort of contract. Like this could be a woman who claims to be gay but she's still legally married to a man so she can't really be in a relationship with somebody else but maybe she tries to keep that a secret from the public maybe it's been exposed now from whoever this was that blocked her and now she's mad and yeah, we got the magician reverse yeah somebody got blocked because they were being a magician they were playing games and shit real shit Gemini, that could be you. The magician reverse, that could definitely be you. Or you could be dealing with an Aries. But somebody here got blocked, okay, for being a magician reverse. For trying to manipulate a situation to go for the outcome. They tried to manipulate a situation so that the outcome would, would go into their favor. But it didn't work. Somebody here knew what the fuck was going on. And they blocked this person or created some kind of boundaries with the magician reverse. Like, nah. You ain't finna do that shit over here. Like, yeah, we had a good time. But, like, no, nah, I'm not with all this other shit that you do. Because I live my life out in the open. I'm authentic. I don't have to hide from nothing and nobody. So, if you still want to hide or you still want to play games or you still want to, I don't know. Like, maybe somebody tried to get you involved in some type of poly situation as well. Gemini. And you're like, hell no. Nah, like, I'm not finna be with you and your mans. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Constant magician reverse. Yeah, I'm hearing keep it in the family, and then the six of cups reverse. Yeah, so this could be these per this person's miserable ass family members trying to manipulate this person. You know, you and this person very well could have had a connection, Gemini, but because this person, toxic, low vibrational, miserable ass family members, um, was influencing this person. It's like maybe you couldn't deal with this person's family. Like this person is like close knit to their family. So maybe they still listen to their family when it comes to the decisions that they make in their life and shit. And like I said, maybe their family didn't approve of this same sex relationship. You know, this person's family feels like or thinks that this woman is going to end up with a man. But I feel like this, this whoever this woman is, she either is not interested in men or like something. It's like whoever person's, whoever person's family this is, they don't approve of their lifestyle. They want this woman to end up with a masculine or a man. Yeah, magician reverse. So this fam this person's family members, miserable, toxic family members could have been um influencing them. I have my head itch. Um magician reverse with the six of cups reverse. Yeah, somebody here was just playing a lot of games and they created some bad blood with a lot of people. Or with you, Gemini. Especially if it's a Pisces involved. This Pisces could be like down low or something. Six of Cups reverse. It's like you got, Gemini, you got history with this player. Whoever this is, whoever this con artist is whoever plays all these type of games and shit you have a history with this person but it's not a good one six of cups reverse it's like you got bad blood with this person yeah the wheel of fortune this was a karmic cycle and i feel like gemini you put up boundaries seven of wands you block this person and you 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 cut this person off like you had enough of this person games and shit and like i said for some of you this is like a secret indulgence like for some of you this person is not openly gay because it's like it's a secret 
it's like they indulge in same sex activities um like behind the scenes it's like people don't really know this person does this but somebody could be threatened to expose this circus um this person's secret or like i said with that uranus um car coming out because we are in uh uranus retrograde it's like a plot twist this person's secret end up coming out anyway but not because you told gemini but because of some other way this shit got exposed Yeah, there was a shift here with the Wheel of Fortune. This was fated to play out this way. So, Gemini, if you had to block somebody because they were playing too many games and it just created a lot of bad blood between you and that person, it was meant to happen this way. The situation was meant to end this way. Like, the karmic cycle is over. Like, the lesson is learned. The cycle is complete. with the wheel of fortune here it really could be any sign but like i said definitely heavy pisces we got scorpio out here we got capricorn we got libra and aquarius what is this the nine of wands reverse yeah and somebody here is holding a grudge they're pissed and they want revenge because the tables turned on their ass. Somebody thought that they was going to be able to magician reverse six of cups. They thought they were going to be able to play games and shit forever with you, Pisces. I mean, Pis Pisces? Why did I say that? Somebody thought that they was going to be able to play games forever with you, Gemini. And it's that's not how the shit, that's not how the shit finna go. Nine of Wands. Now somebody is pissed. They got extreme trust issues. Like, this could also be like, Gemini, you could have been married to this person or in a like a long term commitment with this person. And like this person just played a lot of fucking games and just created a lot of bad blood with you over time. So you the cycle closed out, it completed seven of wands with the will of fortune. Shit just changed. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, okay, I can't make this person stop fucking playing games with me. I'ma just block them and, and you know, it's done. And it's like you're not with this person no more. Um, you don't communicate with this person no more. You're not with them. You don't live with them or nothing. But then you find out this person has a secret indulgence. They low-key been down low. And so now somebody wants revenge because it's just like, okay, I was cool. Like, I was calm when you was just playing games and fucking me over in Magician Reverse with the Six of Cups Reverse. I try not to be petty when it came to that. But then you find out, Gemini, that this person has been on a download too with somebody. It's like you find out through the grapevine that this person was like low-key homosexual or something. And that's what make that what sends you over the edge because it's just like you embarrass me enough, magician reverse with the six of cups. You embarrass me. You didn't help me ruin a few relationships with certain family members and shit because this relationship was toxic. You know what I'm saying? And that man is wearing a mask in that in that one card. So it's just like, I've been with you all this time. Like, yeah, you was playing games with me. You was never faithful and shit. It's over with and shit. But like to hear from other people and through the grapevine that you was down low the whole time. Like, it's going to make sense. It's like the puzzle actually clicks together. It's just like, that's the real reason that this motherfucker was playing games. It wasn't because they were incapable of being in a relationship. It was because this motherfucker had a secret obsession to be with the same sex. It's like a secret indulgence. Damn. Woo Gemini. Nine of Wands. Yeah. Ooh. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Damn, Gemini. Yeah, it's just like you hurt me enough just cheating on me and embarrassing me in this relationship, in this situation. And it's already over. We're not together no more. But to find out that you're like 
low key down low after all this time like that's the real reason that you can never be faithful to me is because you wanted to be with another woman or another man Yeah, somebody out here is pissed when they find out the truth. Ace of Swords. Damn. Because it was definitely a third party here. Three of Wands with the Three of Swords. This person's gay lover could have outed them. Like, this person may have been scared, Gemini, that you would tell their secret if you found out. And then whole time, the person that they were secretly indulging in with this same-sex relationship end up being the one to out them. P plot twist. Ooh. Gemini. This is very ghetto. I just want y'all to know. Okay. Real wands. Yeah, Queen of Cups is here. So yeah, Gemini, you may end up meeting a Queen of Cups energy while you're traveling, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but the Queen of Cups is just somebody who's very nurturing, um, somebody who is very sweet, um, very motherly. Um, the Queen of Cups has a very healing energy. Um, she's very organic. She's very um, authentic. Um, it just feels good to be around this person, like three of wands with the Queen of Cups. If you're traveling or you're going on vacation, I'm hearing for some of you, this could even be online. You may meet this Queen of Cups and you guys may end up like linking up or something. Be careful, like I said, because in the beginning, some of these motherfuckers is crazy that you're meeting. So, um, Gemini, definitely be careful of like online dating and shit. But if it's this Queen of Cups energy, somebody who seems sweet, they come off authentic, like use your discernment. But this Queen of Cups seems like a legit energy, you know. You might end up really liking this person. Yeah, three of wands with the Queen of Cups. She could be like a water fire placement mixture. Lots of Queen of Cups here. Cups, Queen of Wands, Reverse. I'm telling you, that's these two females. I'm telling you, it's an angry ass bitch out here because she tried to. She, it's like whoever this woman or this man is who was on the down low, they tried to finesse you, Gemini, or they tried to finesse somebody. Queen of Wands, Reverse. That's somebody who is. That's the Queen of Wands, Reverse is a Jezebel spirit. She's a whore. She's a, a shit starter. Um, she gives it up easily. She gives it up to anybody who's just giving her like the slightest amount of attention. She's very jealous spirited. She could be a dark witch. She could be trying to do like black magic on you and shit. Like she's very like insecure. She lacks confidence. She's a shit starter like real shit and she's going to be jealous if she finds out that you're dating this queen of cups i'm telling you because gemini once you found out that this person that you were dealing with was hiding shit hiding some relationship or hiding some marriage that they were still connected to pretending to be gay and all this type of shit you was just like nah, i'm cool on this like i'm finna get the fuck out of dodge you gonna mind my business so you went on three of wands and, and you met a queen of cups or you're getting ready to because this is in the present position this queen of wands reverse is spying and watching you online or spying and watching you from somewhere and getting really mad and jealous because she see you with this queen of cups or flirting with this queen of cups 
I'm telling you, this is like some LGBTQ drama going on here. It's like you were messing with somebody, Gemini, that you thought that you could have some sort of connection with and shit. But this motherfucker was hiding all type of shit. They were still married. They were playing games. They still codependent on their miserable ass family members and shit. And this motherfucker could be, I don't know, the magician reverse somebody. That's just somebody that you just don't even want to deal with, period. This person is like the magician reverses somebody that's extremely manipulative. They play a lot of mind games and shit. So Gemini, you was just like, no, nah, I'm cool. Ace of Swords, you found out the truth and then you was just like, no, nah, I'm cool. Or this other person did. And now you done moved on. You have another energy here. This Queen of Cups upright. Somebody who's hella cool. Somebody who's very nurturing. Very authentic. Very sweet. Um, very motherly. Like you, you didn't picked up on somebody's energy this queen of cups and you may be like digging this person or you i don't know maybe you scoped them out online or something you're like ah you know she you know queen of cups she she cute she da 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 whatever and then queen of wands reverse it's this jealous ass bitch that got left behind for playing games or pretending to be fake gay or Whatever the fuck this Queen of Wands reverse bitch was doing, and they're still connected to this man. She's jealous because she see you in this Queen of Cups energy talking online. How's the Queen of Wands reverse? Queen of Wands reverse, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or she, like I said, she doesn't have to be. Um, but the Queen of Wands reverse, that's just like a dark witch. The Magician reverse with the Six of Cups reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse. I feel like this person falls out with a lot of people. They create a lot of bad blood wherever they go because they always are lying, manipulating, conning, playing games, doing stupid shit. And it's like this person this person may have developed a like this new person that you're interested in gemini this queen of cups energy here she could have been connected to this queen of wands at first maybe like they dated briefly or something here because this could be vice versa so Gemini say you were just minding your business, doing your own thing. You ran across this Queen of Cups while you were traveling or online or wherever. Y'all hit it off. This Queen of Cups recently like separated from a Queen of Wands reverse. Somebody that she probably potentially was going to date. Um, but she found out the truth about this Queen of Wands, that she was like easy. She was a slut, a drama starter, a con artist, playing games, still connected to a man, still married. Like she found out all kind of shit about this Queen of Wands. So she moved on. This Queen of, Queen of Cups did. Queen of Cups, Three of Wands. You and this Queen of Cups, Gemini, is connecting with each other. And whoever this Jezebel spirit is that she cut off. Because of all the lies and the games and shit is watching her online. And now she's jealous of you, Gemini. And she's still jealous of this Queen of Cups. It's like this third party, whoever this this third party is who's pretending to be gay and still married and still connected to some man who be lying and playing games and creating bad blood with everywhere they go and shit. This person is jealous of this Queen of Cups. It's like it's an obsession. It's like she came in contact with this Queen of Cups and realized how nurturing, how soft, how authentic she was. And now this bitch is jealous. Now she want to start drama. Now it's a problem and shit. But this Queen of Cups is showing showing up in the upright, meaning that this this Queen of Cups is authentic. Whoever it is, if you're if you're like a gay woman, this Queen of Cups energy that you're meeting is like a like it's a solid motherfucker. So. If this Queen of Wands is like starting shit online or just starting shit, period, it's only because she's hating. She's hating because this Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups is intuitive. You can't get shit past her. 
Like real shit, a real queen of cups is intuitive. You can't get shit past her. So she peeped game with this queen of wands reverse and then she just moved around. She's like, oh, okay, I'm cool. I'm finna go. You know, I'm on my business. You got all this shit going on. You playing games and shit. I'm cool. You know, I'm finna go on about my business. And she did. Queen of wands with the three. I mean, yeah, queen of cups with the three of wands. She like, oh, okay, I'm good. good. I'm finna go on about my business because you on some other shit. But this Queen of Wands reverse is still hating on this Queen of Cups. I feel like I needed to explain that because Gemini, if you're a gay woman and you're meeting this Queen of Cups, this Queen of Wands reverse may try to start some shit, start some drama. Because she's jealous, because she's hating, because she's insecure. She may, she may be, it's a Queen of Wands that got left behind because they were playing games and shit. They're still married or still connected to some man and this Queen of Cups wasn't having it. So if you're meeting this Queen of Cups Gemini and you're like a gay woman, you can trust this Queen of Cups like real shit. It's this Queen of Wands that's going to be trying to stir shit up and start shit that you can't trust. Because like I said, whatever city that you live in, Gemini, this Queen of Cups, I mean, this Queen of Wands reverse, like wherever you stay in Gemini, I feel like the LGBTQ community is small there. That's how these people know each other. So this could, like I said, this could just be like some online drama starting because this Queen of Wands is hating and jealous because this Queen of Cups seen through her bullshit. Period. This Queen of Wands reverse is so jealous, so hateful, so malicious and shit. She's just mad because she can't find nobody to authentically care about her because she's inauthentic. She not living in her truth. She's still married or still connected to some man and the tables turned on her ass. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords, this Queen of Cups seen the truth and read this bitch her rights. Now she's upset. Queen of Wands reversed. Now she want to be mad. Now she want to be hating. Now the bitch lurking online, seeing motherfuckers move on and, and connect and shit and this bitch got a problem. So like that's specifically for a gay woman that may watch this reading. If you watch this reading, you can trust this queen of cups, this sweet person that you meet while you're traveling or that you meet online at a distance. This motherfucker is a hundred. She not lying. She telling the truth. Will of fortune with the ace of swords. Did you just hear the horn? Period. All right. Queen of Wands reverse. Tell me about this kitchen witch. Yeah, this kitchen witch, that's why she mad. It's almost like she tried to play games. Whoever this this Queen of Wands reverse and this Queen of Cups might have connected at one point online. But this Queen of Cups read through her ass and the, the, the energy shifted instantly. The most high came out. The Hierophant. I'm telling you, this Queen of Cups, whoever this is, is tapped the fuck in. Queen of Cups with the Hierophant, she instantly got downloads about this Queen of Wands reverse. She seen through the bullshit instantly. She seen the games. Magician reversed with the six of cups. She seen it. Her spirit guides, the most high, instantly gave her downloads about this Queen of Wands reverse. That's why she was like, all right, cool. I'm going to move around. Hierophant. Now, this Queen of Wands reverse is mad because she getting exposed. The most high ain't playing about this Queen of Cups, whoever this intuitive woman is, this this sweet person that you're going to meet, um, Gemini. The most high, this is God's child. He don't play about this Queen of Cups. He don't play about this Queen of Cups reverse. He stepped in because he seen this Queen of Wands reverse on some fuck shit. Ten of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. 
the whatever work that this Queen of Wands was trying to do, if she was trying to trying to do any type of magician, magic, black magic, all the mind games, whatever the fuck this Queen of Wands reverse was trying to do, it didn't work. Eight of Pentacles reverse it backfired. And this is this Queen of Wands reverse is the type of female who doesn't do any work on herself, period. The Eight of Pentacles is half ass and shit, not putting in a uh, real effort, real time, real energy. This is somebody who's unskilled. The Eight of Pentacles reverse. She could even be broke as hell too. Bitch ain't got no money. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Pentacles reverse is also like a scammer, like a a scam artist. So this 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 Queen of Wands reverse could be connected to some man and they scam motherfuckers. Like real shit. Queen of Wands reverse with the Eight of Pentacles reverse is a scammer. That's somebody who acts like they're a business owner or they do something or they really good at something. Mm -mm. They full of shit. And this Queen of Cups with the Hierophant got the download. She got the messages from the Most High about this Queen of Wands that's connected to this man. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Now she, she's mad and won't revenge because she feels betrayed. Ten of Swords. Her plan, her... Her scheme, her her con, whatever the fuck that she be doing didn't work. Now she mad because not only did it not only didn't it work, not only did it not work, but this bitch is also getting exposed. Tower card is here. I said that at the top of your reading when I pulled the zodiac cards. I'm like. Yeah, tower card with Scorpio. That's Scorpio energy. Like a tower might happen and somebody gets exposed. Real shit. This bitch is going to be mad because her cover is blown. Like this, this, this queen of wands with this queen of cups, they may have tried to date or something like briefly, but she got caught instantly. Will of Fortune with the Ace of Swords and the Hierophant. Her spirit guides drop downloads on her instantly to, to, to let her know that this bitch is full of shit. Mm-hmm. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. This is some real tea, Gemini. What the fuck? Tell me about this three of cups. I mean, this queen of cups. Yeah, I'm feeling hot again. Like, real hot. Somebody is mad because I'm telling the fucking truth in this reading. Whoever this queen of wands reverse is, this bitch is pissed. I'm talking about she's so motherfucking mad because her cover is blown. Like, she probably thought that this queen of cups was just finna be another bitch. That she was just gonna finesse some naive ass bitch just because she's nice just because she's sweet just some nice ass sweet ass bitch that she was finna scam or get over on and shit and not only did that plan did not work but the bitch is also getting exposed period she's gonna be exposed for being a fucking fraud in a lane Hierophant was not playing. The Most High came out here. The Hierophant, God Himself stepped into this motherfucker like, no, nah, you will not fuck with my Queen of Cups, bitch. You got the game fucked up. Period. Brought her whole shit down fucking with this Queen of Cups. I'm telling you, people gonna get enough of fucking with the divine people. Like, I don't know why they even set themselves up. But that's how they normally do. People who think they the magician in reverse and the queen of wands reverse, they start drama, always jealous, hating, thinking they can outsmart people and manipulate people. That shit don't ever fucking work. The only thing they be doing is set up, setting themselves up for failure. They be fucking slow. And then we in the new age of Aquarius too. We, we not in, before 2020, before 2022 started, the, the the new age of Aquarius started in 2022. 2021 was the age of Pisces. That's why the illusions and the masks and the rose-colored glasses and people were easily um, influenced and easily confused. New age of Aquarius, Aquarius energy, no. You gonna see clean through that shit if somebody trying to sell you a dream or trying to scam you or trying to bullshit you. 
whoever this queen of wands reverse is, the bitch is slow. That type of energy not even working anymore. Whoever this man is that she's in cahoots with, whatever, however they been getting down and scamming motherfuckers. Like, it's a man and a woman out here. This woman pretends to be gay to lure in, like, uh lure in like women or women they think are naive and innocent to try to scam them or play them or con them she fucked with this queen of cups that's like directly connected with god and brought her whole motherfucking shit down her shit and this man shit that's why somebody's so motherfucking mad seven of cups reverse seen clean through the shit wow now she feeling betrayed. Now she in a negative head space. The bitch damn near probably want to commit suicide and shit. Because her cover is fucking blown. Like, did you not really gay? She didn't probably did this shit to multiple people in the LGBT community. Wherever you from. Her and this man been doing this shit. And the most high used this queen of cups on purpose to bring this bitch's shit down. Her and this man she connected to. Brought that shit. She fucked with the wrong one. Ooh, we Gemini. And like I said, whoever that steal Magnolia's card. This group of females. This could be a group of females that's part of the LGBTQ community in your city. Like, motherfuckers is finna be talking about this bitch. She gonna get exposed. Like, you did what, bitch? You said what? You was what? Like, she's gonna be... This bitch is getting exposed. Figure the fuck out. And the Queen of Wands reverse, she a hoe, too. So, she really be fucking motherfuckers, too. Giving that pussy up. Okay? That's the Eight of Pentacles reverse. And the Queen of Wands reverse reverse this bitch said you should a business owner she a business owner all right the bitch still pussy is what she do period and she's got a a, a a a man in the background that she probably still fucking on this is like some woman pretending to be gay whole time she connected to a man she 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 sleeps with lesbian and gay women to try to finesse them and get money out of them but she got a nigga at home that's still dicking her down Period. <laughs> I'm cold as a motherfucker, ain't I? <laughs> I ain't even trying to toot my old horn, but damn, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, I can't stand females like this, bro. Like, this shit is annoying. Like, real shit. Like, bitch, don't be, like, pretending to be gay and shit. Like I said, that's for somebody specific, though. Others of you... You just, if you were in a long-term relationship or you are married or something and now like you and this person are separated or divorced or whatever the case may be, again, you may be finding out through the grapevine that this person that you were with had like a secret down low obsession with the same sex and you, and you might be pissed. Real shit. It's going to change everything. Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Swords. It's going to shift your whole perception when it comes to dating and people and shit. You're just going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, you're going to see how people really get down. Yeah, two of pentacles reverse. Why is the two of pentacles reverse here? Or like if you're a Gemini male, this could be going on with like a baby mother or something that you have. If you have kids with somebody or if you don't have kids, this could just be with somebody that you were dating. You were dating somebody and you broke up, separated, went on about your business and then come to find out she was gay the whole time or pretending to be gay or something she was weird going on. Yeah, basket case breakfast club i'm telling you this is somebody part of the lgbtq community that you didn't hung out with before that you kick it with or that be all at the local events and all this type of shit but like it says breakfast club detention athlete criminal princess brain what's a friend anyway kids teens basket case this may have been somebody that you grew up with or like i said you know of them 
through the LGBTQ community because they always at the events or whatever that they have for their community of people. This motherfucker always there. This queen of wands reverse. Come to find out this bitch is a basket case and a fucking criminal. Period. That's two of pentacles reverse. Three of pentacles reverse. Five of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, you could have worked with this person before, Gemini. Three of Pentacles reverse with the Two of Pentacles. You could you could have worked with this person before somewhere or collaborated with them on some sort of project or event or something like that. Also, if you're dealing with an Earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, that person may be coming out of some sort of financial, maybe this person took some sort of financial loss and they're recovering from it. Or maybe this person was like sick or something. Like Gemini, if you were dealing with like an earth sign and maybe you haven't heard from this person or something or they got to start acting weird. It's like something was going on with this person's finances or their physical health. Because the two of pentacles reverse with the three of pentacles reverse is the five of pentacles reverse. This person may be recovering from some sort of illness. I don't think it's that serious. I'm hearing like like a cold or like could be COVID. Something like that. Give me another card for Gemini. I knew it was something because I'm like, yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, or this is this Queen of Wands bitch. She getting exposed and she gonna be trying to apologize to motherfuckers and shit. Crying and shit. Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, that's why I knew something was weird in the beginning of this region. I'm like, who the fuck is all these women and shit? That's because this is like the community. Like people that you hang out with. Your friend groups, friends, friends. Friend circles from this group of people that you hang out with or that you always see at these events because you're part of the same community, the LGBTQ. Like you find out, you know, you know people who know people who know people. Like you were affiliated with this person like through a social setting and this bitch got exposed. Queen of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Cups reverse. This Queen of Wands reverse is obsessed with this Queen of Cups. Real shit. But it's the energy, this uh, Christ consciousness, the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups. Of course, you will be obsessed with somebody with that pure of an energy. Nine of Cups reverse. It's like a water sign obsessed with this person. This Queen of Wands could actually be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. She's just showing up in that Queen of Wands reverse energy because she's a Jezebel. But nine of cups reverse. She's real narcissistic, very insecure, self-loathing. Um, she definitely does not like herself at all. She doesn't like herself, doesn't love herself, low self-worth, lack of self-confidence, all that. And the tables have turned on her and this goddamn man who've been trying to finesse women lesbian and gay women who are part of the lgbtq community wherever you live it like this was fated to happen will of fortune with the ace of swords this was divinely orchestrated to expose these two motherfuckers but she has like some obsession she's obsessed with getting revenge on this queen of cups because that's who brought her shit down. But it actually wasn't this Queen of Cups. It was the Most High. The Most High just used this Queen of Cups to be the catalyst for this shit. But this bitch, oh my God, she wants revenge so bad. 
Nine of Cups with the with the revenge card. This bitch is mad. I told you that 23 on this revenge card broke down to a five. She instantly changed. Soon as she tried to play games with this Queen of Cups, soon as she tried to con this Queen of Cups, instantly backfired. Instantly. Yeah, Ten of Wands. It's she, this, whoever this is, whoever this Queen of Wands reverse, Nine of Cups reverse energy is, she's so burdened by this whole situation. Ten of Wands is so heavy. She's feeling overwhelmed. Like real shit. Like this, whoever this Queen of Wands reverse is, she may even come to you crying, Gemini. Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands, she may come to you crying and shit, trying to explain herself. Like, I don't know. Like, Gemini, I feel like you and this Queen of Cups are newly meeting each other. Like, you're new to each other. And But this Queen of Wands may have tried to finesse this Queen of Cups, and she tried to finesse you at one point, too, Gemini. And like I said, when you find out the truth of what happened or what the fuck went on, it's going to make so much sense. And I feel like this whoever this Jezebel spirit is she's going to be trying to apologize to this queen of cups or apologize to you or apologize to the community Cause she probably been getting away. Her and this man been probably getting away from this, sh getting away with this shit for a minute. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. This is the plan, strategy. This is what she do. Seven of Pentacles. She plant seeds. They plan this shit out. Real shit. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, Knight of Swords. But then, like, I guess the plan is, like, to ghost motherfuckers after they get what they want or get what they need or whatever the fuck the case may be. Why the three of swords here? Yeah, the cherry reverse. It could be a cancer. It could be a cancer. I don't know. My neighbors got some weird shit going on, Gemini. I don't know. Yeah, chariot with the three of swords. Soon as I heard this, so Gemini, be careful of like a car accident or something going on with a car or something. Yeah, eight of swords, cause then you ain't gonna know what to do. Or yeah, somebody might end up getting locked up. Eight of swords. Something here may get out of control. Three of Swords with the Chariot Reverse and the Eight of Swords. You might end up feeling stuck or like you don't know what to do. Yeah, Sun card. Something here is going to get exposed or this person. Like, I don't know. Be careful, Gemini, because I just feel like, like this Queen of Wands Reverse is going to start a lot of drama or she already has. That's why the Sun card is out here. Like, her shit got exposed, but I feel like I don't know if she 
finesse somebody before or she's been doing this to a lot of people like i feel like it's gonna be a lot of drama behind this queen of wine and this man getting exposed for doing this to like gay and lesbian women like it's going to get exposed sun card somebody may even end up going to jail because they just took some shit too far with the chariot it's like this person is so heartbroken that they end up telling on themselves like maybe you gemini and this queen of cups were both talking to this queen of wands before at one point it's like you're gonna find out gemini that you and this queen of cups that you meet was dating the same person and it was this queen of wands reverse this bitch that be on this scam and shit with this man shit is gonna hit the fans bitch is gonna be exposed and shit might even lead to somebody getting locked up because with the eight of swords that's just like somebody they're either going to get locked up like legit like really go to jail or it's going to be some sort of um or somebody's going to be in spiritual jail they already are probably in spiritual jail they got exposed sun card with the eight of swords somebody here is already in spiritual jail they can't do this shit no more every since like soon as they came in contact with this queen of cups this divine person that automatically fucked they shit up so now this person is in, in spiritual jail and it might be just a matter of time before this person actually goes to literal jail because i feel like this queen of wands and this man tried to do this shit to more than one person and when words start getting around about what the fuck this bitch was doing, motherfuckers is going to really try to sue, sue her or get her persecuted or something. Wow. Yeah, this is a real prop twist. I don't know what the fuck they doing outside of Gemini, but motherfuckers is being weird. Like, I don't know where y'all live, but it's probably like, I don't know what fucking time it is, honestly, but I know it's like late at night. It's not extremely late, but it's definitely like probably like nine something maybe. And it's like, what the fuck is y'all doing outside making all that noise and do that goofy shit? Like people are being so weird right now. Like it's a lot of shit going on. A lot of shit being exposed. Like people, these masks are being snatched the fuck off these people, whether they like it or not. People are being seen for their true fucking colors, dog. And some of these people were really doing some foul and conniving ass shit, Gemini. Real shit. Yeah, like this person may have plotted again. This Queen of Wands reverse probably plotted on you, Gemini, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. This person could have plotted on you. And then ghosted you. And then you meet this Queen of Cups and find out that this Queen of Wands tried to do the same thing to her. Yeah, Page of Swords reversed. Now this whoever this person is going to be trying to lie. They're going to be trying to say, no, I didn't do that. I, I, I wasn't doing that. I was they trying to start rumors and gossip and shit about this person to try to make it seem like that because they don't want to be caught. That's why I said, Gemini, trust your, your intuition. Use your discernment because when you meet this Queen of Cups, she's going to be telling the truth about this person. So don't believe none of this lies, none of this bullshit. This Queen of Wands Reverse is just mad because they got exposed or this Queen of Cups, Sun Card, Hierophant person, this chosen person figured that her ass out. Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. She's trying to hold on to these lies. Page of Pentacles. Uh, I mean, Page of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles with the Page of Swords reverse. She's trying to hold on to these lies, boy. She gonna swear up and down. I wasn't doing that. Yep. Yes, she was, bitch. Yes, she was. Yeah, Fool Car reverse. She gonna be looking stupid as a motherfucker. Like, yes, bitch, you did that. Yes, bitch, you be doing that. Yes, bitch, you be outside. You hella reckless. Fool car reverse. You get that pussy to anybody, bitch. You don't care. You and whoever this man is that you link to be on some criminal shit. Scamming and conning people and shit. Getting motherfuckers set up, probably. 
or not even if they not getting motherfuckers set up trying to get motherfuckers to do a threesome with this weird ass man and shit because he got you locked in some it's this queen of wands is locked in some sort of contract with this um she locked in some sort of contract with this um man whoever the fuck this is that she can't get out of she owed this man or something like he got the dirt or he got the tea on this on this queen of wands so she basically had to do whatever this man say and she then figured out a way to scam gay and lesbian women until she ran across across this queen of cups energy now her shit exposed now she trying to lie and spread rumors and deflect and all this shit but she knows it's the truth fool car reverse this bitch feels dumb as fuck she thought she her and this man thought that they was gonna keep getting away with this shit for i don't know i guess forever I'm telling you, it's going to be some sort of plot twist to where this bitch get exposed and this man do too. And you're going to be like, damn, Gemini. Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, Two of Cups. King of Pentacles reverse, yeah. Whoever this Pisces is, she's she's whoever this because I feel like this is a water sign, it, or it doesn't have to be a water sign, but that's what I'm getting. A chariot reverse came out. Um, and we got the seven of cups reverse. The seven of cups is Pisces energy, that's the overall energy. So this could be a cancer or a Pisces, but this woman is not really gay. This is the seven of cups reverse with the two of cups and the king of pentacles reverse. She is in love with a man. This woman is pretending to be gay, pretending to be a part of the LGBT community. It's two of cups, king of pentacles. She's in love with a man. And he's greedy. King of pentacles reverse. He has, he's obsessed with money. He's money hungry. So he probably could have told this bitch, well, if you find a way to bring me money, I'll be with you. That's what this bitch be doing. So she be scamming females in the lesbian and gay community just to bring this man money in hopes that he'll be with her and he won't. This is a sick ass bitch. Yeah, strength car reverse. This man is weak. He could have a temper problem too. Like I said, she could be stuck in a contract with this man. Maybe he used to abuse her. Um, strength card reverse with the king of pentacles yeah queen of swords queen of pentacles i'm telling you steel magnolias these women are gonna come out the woodworks and expose this bitch for i'm telling you a lot of this shit didn't happen to a lot of divine feminists these high vibing gay women this Queen of Wands reverse tried to finesse a lot of their ass. Queen of Swords is out here. Queen of Pentacles out here. Queen of Cups is out here. You're probably one of these, uh, Gemini. You're this, uh, Gemini. You're this, uh, Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Swords. This Queen of Cups. This Queen of Wands reverse tried to finesse a whole bunch of women in this LGBTQ community for this man that she's in love with. Two of Cups. It's really sick. Yeah, the hermit reverse. And this man ain't shit at all. He's depressed. He's a criminal. Hermit reverse. He don't like to be alone. He just as desperate and sick as this bitch is. Yeah, knight of cups reverse. And he could low, be, low key be bisexual as well. Or he just be manipulating the fuck out of her. Or this is this water sign. She'd do anything for this man. Manipulate whoever she got to. It's a dangerous game. This bitch playing for real. But she tried it with the motherfucking Empress. All these women out here. Queen of Cups. Queen of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Empress. They try to get over on a lot of people. That's why they shit is hitting the fan. Because you do not play with uh, God's divine people. Six of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. Seven of Swords reversed. The bitch got caught. She got caught trying to steal, trying to lie, trying to cheat, being a con, being a fraud. She's getting busted, Gemini, period. Yeah, temperance. Archangel Michael is out here. You're protected, Gemini, real shit. But this bitch ain't. 
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here because this has already been too much, Gemini. But this has been your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe if it resonates. Gemini, I will holler at y'all later. Peace.